right, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys. What's up? Hot Pudge IG Live. I'm your host, Pudge Fernandez. Again, another episode and another awesome person. As always, you know, I got the most interesting people here. Uh, I got actors, I got comedians, and today I have an actor comedian. Uh, she's hot, she's funny, and hey, she's been in movies, something I can't say about myself, so I'm hoping she'll give me some advice. The one and only G- uh, Jenny Saldana. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you, huh? I'm okay. Hanging in there. Yeah. Hanging in there, you know, just like everyone else. Yeah, I know. Just, just scrolling on Facebook, seeing what everyone else is doing, because I'm not doing shit. I know. Did you hate the people who are like, I learned how to cook, or I learned how to do whatever, or I'm in the best shape ever. I'm like, no, shut up. We did muffins. We did muffins, and then the next week is, oh, my God, I made Chinese food. And yeah. look, a pizza. Nah, yeah. Uh, you know, that was cool in April. Yeah, but it's getting tiring now. Like, yeah, uh, sh- sh- show me something new. Uh, I'm an engineer. Ooh, look what not you know enough with the cooking and the baking and I know. everyone's working out. Man. Like, I-, I have enough food in my life. I'm already I already had gained some weight, and uh, that was a no go. So I'm not even interested in the food anymore. But I know I gained a little bit of COVID weight too. Um, not a lot. Uh, Cause most of my clothes fit, but I I did notice, and um, I, I went on a date, and the guy told me that I look skinnier in my pictures. I saw that post. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me say this is what went through my head. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you what went through my head. I'm a guy, heterosexual, penis. Yeah. I got the package. Got gotcha. Okay. Now I'm older and wiser now, but once upon a time, um, yeah. Chasing pussy, because that's what men do. Uh, we're all right. dogs right. at some degree or level. So what's going through my mind is you're hooking up with a girl. You're meeting a girl. Your obvious intentions eventually is you want to hook up and have sex, mm-hmm. or at least get on first base, second base, obviously something as a guy, because that's how we think. Right. You know, that's how I used to think. I'm guilty. I was there. So what the fuck are you doing saying some stupid shit to a I mean why what is your intention you, do you do you want do you want to get turned down yeah that's like, the thing like I think men I'll tell you and I know that you will agree with me that men tend to talk themselves out of pussy more than they talk themselves into pussy I believe it I believe it <laughs> come on you're so and first of all the weight that I've gained is not enough I don't think that it was noticeable in pictures because again most of my clothes still fit so it's like Things are a little right. snug here and there, but I, I'm only I'm only five feet tall, so I do know that um, you know, five pounds can can make a difference for me. You know, yeah. uh, on a man, five pounds wouldn't, but I mean, if, so maybe I've gained maybe five pounds, and I'm working on it. I'm started walking again and started running again, but it was just so weird how he's like, "Yeah, you look skinnier in your pictures." I'm like, "Dude, you're an idiot." It's like okay, so that was his opening. As you guys sat down. Did he okay? Did he dig himself out of it? Was there was there oh, a no, positive side? It got worse. It got worse. So first of all, he didn't have a mask on. Okay. He had he a didn't bandana mask. that he okay. said he would put down if he. But he was he never took it off his head. Um, he told me like when we sat down, we were gonna sit down somewhere, and uh, wait. We had to wait for them to call us for the table because now there's limited seating outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So we went and sat on a bench somewhere and we're just talking. And I, so I took off my mask. Goes, yeah, take that shit off, Ross. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm like, okay. Uh... And then I told him that I went to the, I went to the beach uh, last week with Pat Brown, the comedian. And mm-hmm. we took the ferry. We took the, st- we took the ferry from, from Wall Street over to uh, Far Rockaway. And it was lovely. So I told him how beautiful it was. And he goes, you must have not been anywhere if you think that's beautiful. That was before he told me I was fat. Dog, really? Wow. Like, I, said, I, it, I said, I've seen most of the world. I've seen a lot of the world. And he's like, like, where? I was like, I've been. So I just started naming. I named the most exotic places. Just so he, I was like, I've been to Cuba. I've been to China. I've been to Israel. I've been to Turkey. Yeah. And not to mention your Rome's and your, and your, Italy, your Italy's and your, and your France's. 
What did he, he say? Like, he was like, oh, okay. And then he told me that all New York women are, are having a bad attitude, are prudes. Mm. And I'm like, okay, he goes, yeah, everybody's so free in California. So he's a Queens guy who moved out to California and spent half Ew, he's from Queens? He's from my borough? Yeah. Ew. Ah, oh, that's two people from Queens I don't like. The well, other one is president. Oh, but anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when he moved out to California, he got a big head. Yes, he get he, and then he told me that he told his son that the best gift he could ever give his son was that he had his son born in California. What an arrogant fucker, dude! And then I was telling him about the date that peed himself, the date that I went. I don't know if you saw that that I went on a date. No. So, all right, oh. so I'll tell you about that. So, I'm, was he an older gentleman? No, he was fifty. Fifty. Hey, I'm 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 forties. And I'm, you know, I'm going through some bodily changes myself. Yeah, but are you peeing on yourself? No, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just, I, I, well, how did that, did you bust a joke? Did you make him laugh and he peed himself? No, I'm going to tell you the whole story, okay? Oh, uh oh. So I'm going to try to give you the, I'll try to be quick. <laughs> but, um, okay. So we meet, he didn't look like, he looked like his picture, but he was a little heavier than his picture. But again, I'm like, all right, whatever. He told me he was going to be casual. He goes, I'm going to dress casual. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm like, okay. But he showed up in cargo shorts and a t-shirt and sneakers. And I'm like, you look like you're moving your cousin or something, you know? And yeah. He picked a good restaurant. He picked a restaurant. So I was dressed up. I was dressed and everything. Yeah. He was late uh, by a half hour. Then we, I was drinking rosé. He started uh, ordering gin and tonics. And then he, um, after we ordered the appetizer, he goes to me, listen, I've been so excited to meet you. Um, he goes, you're the pretty, you're the, you must be the best looking woman I've ever been out with. And he goes, you're, you know, you do podcasts and you, you're, you're on stage. I'm just a regular, like he was a little starstruck, which is weird for me. I was like, well, I'm just a regular girl too. You know, I'm just sitting um, here. Plus, but it's sweet though. He's acknowledging it was it was what cute. you're that doing. Was, that was sweet. That was sweet. Yeah. So then, I, then I got weird. Then he says, then he says, oh, so, um. I really like you. I've been one. I've been looking forward to meeting you since you know since we connected, and I want to spend as much time with you tonight as possible. So I'm thinking maybe after dinner we can go to your place and you can go to my place. And I was like, no. Reaching, uh, reaching, reaching. Yes, he. And I was like, just, I'm just like, a little no, bit. No, um, the entrees haven't even gotten here yet. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you're already planning for the future to come. I was like, I'm not sleeping with you. He goes, I don't want you to, I don't want to give you anything. I don't want to take anything from you that you don't want to give me. I'm just saying that we could, I was like, no, just eat your food, whatever. So then we, we're there and we're, and I'm already like, already turned off by that, whatever. But I'm here, we'll go have a drink. We're in the village, but we're deep in the village. So I was like, you know what? Let's walk over to the pair and have a drink. I said, but we got to get a cab because I'm in five inch heels. So we're walking around. So we finished dinner, whatever. We're walking and we're like so deep into the village that we had to find like a main street because it was right. so, you know, like we're not going to find a yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Those small right. little streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're deep, deep, deep in there. So I'm like, yeah. okay, we're walking. So we're walking. And then he grabs me, turns me around. And I go, do, do you think you're going to kiss me? Passionate. Mm. No, 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 you're not going to, no. no, 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 no. I didn't give you any signs of kissing. Right. And unless I get a sign, unless I get a sign or she, whatever, I wait till the goodbye and I take, I exactly. take it from there. Exactly. Take it from there. Right. But yeah, like, yeah. This guy thought we were, we were there. I'm like to do that dramatic turn. And I, that's something you do when you, when you're into somebody already, you know, like, I'm like, I got to kiss this bitch right here. You know what I mean? Like, like you're, you guys already established that already. Like, you're just meeting for the first time. Yeah. So, where are you meeting these guys? This one was on Bumble. Bumble. So then, we're, so you know how some of the streets are so narrow that sometimes you have to walk in a single file? Yeah, yeah. Right? Because, like, so there was a stoop, a tree, and garbage because it was garbage day. So we had to walk in a single file. So he's walking behind me, and there's a pile of garbage because it was garbage day. All the black bags are there. And I hear crunch like he stepped on a bag. And then I hear crunch, crunch, crunch. I turn around. He has caught his foot in one of the bags, and now he's trying to get out of it. And he literally climbs. He's trying to like get out of it, but he's climbing the mountain 
of garbage and he falls belly flop onto the street. Wow. How does he, I don't know. I mean, I know I've been in, I'm a, yeah, I'm an Uber driver. So I've been in those streets. Yeah. So he I, falls I, belly flop onto the street. He falls to <laughs> belly flops onto the street. And yeah. then, because we're in the village, this gay guy, this gay queen comes by and starts going, which is the funniest part. She goes, girl, get up. Girl, you better get up. Girl, get up. And I try not to laugh. I That's what I love about New York. Yeah. I in New York, you always going to have spectators. They're going to either cheer you on or they're going to laugh at you or they're going to let you know. Yeah. You are so, in the village. So you got, you, you, got a, you got a gay per Yeah, I mean. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So yes, New York, you always have spectators. You always so, witnesses. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm like, are you? It took him a while to get up, and oh, I had had four glasses of wine. He had like four gin and tonics. I was stone cold sober. I he looked sober to me, but yo no sé. So he finally gets up, and I see him a little wobbly now, and I'm wondering, is this the fall, or is this or is the gin and tonic? Yeah. yeah. So we're walking around and fi and we're walking. I'm still like, I, 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 we're still trying to find a main street. We're walking, walking, walking. We stop in front of Chumley's and I'm going to tell them something about Chumley's. And all of a sudden I hear like a, like a water, like water. So I look down and the pee is just coming out of his pant leg, his, his cargo shorts. Yeah. Did he was, oh, okay. Was he standing, walked? I, I, like I'm, it's just coming down as he's walking. No, we're stand. We stopped somewhere to, cause I was showing him a building. So we stopped somewhere, and I'm like, oh, this building, blah blah blah. And then I hear water. I look down. Yeah, he's a tamayan, no. And then I'm just like, so I jump back, and I go, don't don't pee on my shoes. And he goes, I'm not gonna pee on your shoes. That's all he said. He didn't say, I can't believe I'm peeing. I can't oh shit! Oh, oh shit. shit! My bad. <laughs> Nothing. Like it was cool. That was that was his thing. I got this. I got you. I've yeah. done this before. I've done this before. I won't get your shoes. I've got it. And then did you guys continue? Like did so it... I still gotta find a main street. Even if I want to leave, I still had to find a big street, right? So we're walking, walking so by now we're like on we're almost on bleaker. So now I'm just like, all right. I'm just going to go have a drink at the pair. <laughs> okay. But oh, he's still walking with me. So I'm like, okay. So I waited for him to finish the peeing, of course. And now we keep on walking. So he's walking. Now, Pudge, as squish, a man, squish, had this squish, happen, squish. Yeah, had this happened to you, wouldn't you go home? Yeah, I'd kill it. I, I, yeah, because that's weird. That's, that, that would throw me so off. I, but wouldn't you go home after what, the fall? After the, after the fall? Uh, it depends. But after the pee, yes. The fall, I don't know. He may have been clumsy. He may have been drink. I don't know. I, I mean, did he apologize? Was there an explanation after the fall? Because it wasn't nothing at the beach. He goes, I got caught up in the in the in the bags. I'm like, okay. So then we get to the pair. I buy drinks. I said, I'll pay for drinks. We paid for dinner, so I'll buy the drinks. You know, being nice. Okay. So I buy the drinks, and then we're sitting outside. And after a while, I realized I don't want to be there. I just want to. I didn't. I didn't like him. Like it wasn't enough for me to want to pursue this. I knew that I wasn't gonna see him again. So I just go. You know what? I'm just gonna. I, I think I should go. I'm gonna call a car, and I'm gonna go. So I go inside to pay. And my friends who are there, they're like, "Why isn't he paying?" It's like he paid for dinner. And the man just peed his pants. Yeah, yeah. Went out. So then. He goes, so then um, he says, he lives in Queens. So he goes, hey, let me call an Uber and I'll drop you off. So I Both go, guys were from Queens. Huh? Both guys were from Queens. No, no, no. This is, I'm just I'm reminding you that he's from Queens. So he says. Okay, gonna, so this guy's from Queens. Okay. This guy's from Queens. So he goes, I'm going to I'm gonna call a car and I'll just drop you off. And I was like, okay, fine. So, you know, we get in the car and he says, so can I crash on your couch? I'm like. That's like, really? Why? Why did why? 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 Wow. And I look at him I, and I go, I don't have a couch because I don't. He goes, What do you uh -huh. mean I have a couch? I said, I live in a tiny apartment. My bed's the biggest piece of furniture. Could I sleep on your floor? I'm like, You're in a car on your way home to Queens. It's not like this that doesn't work. This we're not in a place where you had to drive. Like if he was drunk and he had to drive and I I probably would have let him well actually I would have just walked him around so he sobered up or something, you know? But you're in a car already on your way to Home. My my apologies for my Queens people uh, misrepresenting my borough. That's terrible. 
And then he texted me this week to tell me that he bro he actually broke his hand on the fall. Oh, he did. But he didn't know it then. No, I didn't respond. I don't want anything to do with him. Then he was shit faced. Then he he's, he's he a lightweight. He was shit faced. I mean, yeah. he had to be. Sh he's not. He's an. Oh wow. Yeah, he's shit faced. He broke his hand. Didn't even know it on the trash. And then he pissed himself and kept it moving. Yeah. Now nah, he's he, he's wow. Bumble. I, I would scratch Bumble off my yeah, list. I don't know. Bumble. So and this I've, guy, the guy who called me fat, I'm telling him the story and I tell him how I was out in heels and he goes, "Why don't you get dressed up for me?" And I said, "Well." I think I'm dressed perfectly fine. And we didn't pick a place. We we're going to walk around. So I'm wearing walking shoes. This guy picked a restaurant. I could take a cab to yeah. that restaurant. Right, 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 right. You and I were going to walk around to see what's open. So I wore a dress and I wore like Oxford. Like I'm wearing like, like my whole Han Oxfords. He's in crappy shoes. He came in a motorcycle. He was in his fucking jeans and a t-shirt and his stupid bandana. And I didn't dress up for him. And then he wow. told me, and then I, and then I, he, he said, you know, because I let him see my, he goes, my, my phone died. Let me look. I said, well, let me look at my, because he said, do I look like my picture? I said, yeah. And that, that's when he called me fat. He goes, I want to see your profile, but my, my phone died. So I give him my phone. I say, I, I pull up my profile and I give it to him. And he goes, yeah. And then he starts playing with it. He goes, oh, look at this guy who likes you. You should go out with him. I said, well, maybe he won't call me fat. He goes, oh, there you go. There you go. I didn't say you were fat. I just said that you look skinny in your pictures. And I know how you la Latinas ah. love the chicharron. Whoa. Latinas to lay off the chicharron. Whoa. 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 Oh, no. Whoa. That would have stabbed him. How do you He's say talking. that to someone? To lay off the chicharron. So what do you mean? What do you mean you Latina? So what he was, I, I, I assume he's not Latino himself? No, he was some kind of white. He was some kind of white, hey, off white, yeah, eggshell white. And he's a Queens boy too. He is a Queens guy. Yeah, they're both Queens boys. You're oh, right. I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. But oh, now my... he's claiming LA, so don't worry about it. He thinks he calls LA his home and whatever. Oh he's, man, that's what. I, I haven't dated in so long. First of all, I've never. I, so I wasn't around when I was dating. There were no apps. Yeah. So I can't even imagine. I I, I wouldn't feel comfortable on an app. I don't know. I'm just not there. Uh, I don't know how to swipe and just say hello. Uh, I'm already, I don't know. I'm old fashioned. I want to introduce myself or someone introduce us or, Hey, I think, I think he likes you. She likes you. Like, give me halfway to first base already. You know, give me some cushion, you know, just old school at the job. I, know, but I don't even know how that happens anymore. I don't even I know. know how that, how does that happen now? Like, first of all, I don't know anyone who knows anyone. Worked yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come the on, last we had time, that with comics, Pudge. Who's gonna? Yeah. <laughs> the last time I had a series, of, I tell you, I would. There was this one moment because I'm usually in relationships. I was married, we broke up, then I was I had a girlfriend, and there was this one moment in in time where I was like dating, like dating, dating, mm -hmm. and I got tired fast. Like it was a lot of work. Like I got, and it just, and some of these girls wanted a little bit more. Like I was just, I just saw them and, you know. You were hanging out. And, and, and yeah, but they just wanted a little bit more. Uh, and the, the thing that sent me over the edge was I went on, um, I, w I guess three dates with three different girls mm -hmm. within like a two week span. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm kind of a gentleman. So, you know, where do you, where would you like to go? Uh, you know, what restaurant do you want to go to? Mm -hmm. Or we go to the movie. What movie do you want to see? And all three of them picked the same freaking movie. Shut up! Oh, I, you don't understand. I can't, I can't see this movie on TV. On stage. Yo, all three of them picked the fucking same movie. You know what I And, like, the first time it was good. The second time, okay, it's cute. The third time You're I was on a double it. date. The third time I was on a double date. And I told my friend, no, yo, pick the other, pick the other, pick the other, say something. He's like, what, what? No, not that one. Pick, I'm telling him, pick the other. And, and then we went to this, and it, oh, my God, I was dying. I was dying. And I've never done that before. See, a movie, especially, it's not like it was, I'm a kid watching Star Wars or Ghostbusters for the third time where it's cool. Yeah, it was exactly. just, oh, and I think that's when I called it quits. And I went back to my wife. This was like. <laughs> I swear to God, 
and that, you know what? And that that's was before. I, that's 14, 15 years ago. Because it was in that time when I just took a time out because that happened. I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Where am I going? What do I want? And I had that, that, you know, that moment to myself. And that's when the comedy thing kicked in. Okay. And so, they, yeah, that was, the mo that was the, like, you know, the premonition. I was like, what do I want in my life? I said, what well, I want my kids. Uh, I want my family. And I want comedy. So that, that's where I laid all my guns. And I kind of, I, yeah, I ended up going back with my wife and, started, and I started comedy. Because I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just going around in circles. Are you guys still and together? It, technically, yes. <laughs> long story that's another story for for that for, the, for a podcast this is we have a time limit on this i can't go there when i get the podcast going we'll go there okay. then we have plenty of time but yes we we're we're together right now at the moment she's on her way home from work so but um but yeah i found dating hard i'm not a dater i usually find someone and then we like each other and we become boyfriend and girlfriend I, I've never, I don't have that kind of luck. No? I, I don't. Like, the last relationship I was in was 11 years, and it was, we met in 2003, and that's when online dating was just starting, and a girlfriend of mine told me, this, this site doesn't even exist anymore. It's called Lava Life. And she goes, and this is 2003, so instant messenger was a big deal. We were still, we were sure. still doing, I, you know, the AOL instant messenger. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, this, this website had an instant messenger, but the whoever initiates the conversation had to pay the other person didn't so it's usually guys paying because so i my friend told me just sign on and see if somebody starts talking to you and this guy started talking to me so i signed on he started talking to me we met the next day we were together for 11 years my uh my sister she met her husband on some kind of dating thing on something similar like 12 years ago yeah i didn't know i mean i just I remember she was dating this guy and, and they were seeing each other and they invited me to dinner. She wanted me to introduce, but I didn't know they met online. Uh -huh. Like they met, it was a cold call online. I was like, oh shit. So for some people, I don't know. It, it works, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know. I, it worked for me that time. And so I'm like, all right. So then when I decided to date again, I mean, he and I broke up six years ago. So I thought it was time to start dating again. I, I mean, I had a, you can't say that wasn't successful 11 years, right. you know? So I, uh, I went back in there and I mean, listen, if COVID wasn't happening, yeah, I could be out more and I could probably meet people, yeah. but it's not happening that way. And even before COVID, like it's still hard. Cause I'm always at comedy clubs, Yeah. you know, and I'm always with, you know, comics or if I'm, if I'm at dinner, I'm with friends or what. So it's not, it's not conducive to meeting people anymore, you know? Uh, this is a conversation I had with the wife, which I've had many times in regards to our, uh, what we do as comedians, that life, that yeah. commitment, that sacrifice and the, you know, the life we choose, the life we live. Mm -hmm. And some people, and it's hard for us because they don't get it. Yeah. They don't get it. And sometimes they don't get it. And in some cases they don't want it or they don't want to adapt I'm having my issues. Yeah. Uh, I've had them before, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, this is the life we chose. It's like a blessing and a curse. Yeah. You know, where to be, to be uh, an artist, you yeah. know, it's, it's such a beautiful thing. In one hand, I've gotten s some beautiful compliments from some family members, but then some other people look like, why aren't you famous yet? And look at me all weird. And, oh, why is your friend on TV? And you're not. And, and I get a stank guy like, oh, you must suck because it's been so long. And I'm like, yeah. you don't know how this works. You don't know how it works. You don't know how this works, okay? You have no idea how it works. You have no idea how this works. I actually got into an argument with my wife just last week because I'm just talking, you know, because I'm always, I'm, I'm feeding her information. I'm not hiding anything. And, and in regards to comedy. Yeah. Like I'm trying to feed her, teach her, let her know. And I just, I told her that I might be going, to, hitting the road uh, with another comic. You know, I got a car, he's got the spots and we might be hitting the road and going away for a couple of weeks. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah. And I said, yeah, he's even thinking, cause he's going to buy a car and he want, he wants to hit the road permanently. He wants, he wants to leave the comedy scene to hit the road and live out of his car. Oh, 
Right. And in our world, that's normal. It's been done before. It's happened. It's just quite a few comedians and ones who are very famous who have done that. Yeah. Uh, Gary Shandling, I've heard, would lived out of his car years ago in the 80s. Yeah. And then right up, and right now, um, what's this comedian? Um, uh, the, the, okay, the uh, black chick with the little birthmark. She's really cute. Hung out with Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, fuck, I always forget her name. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're talking about... She was in uh, Bridesmaid. Uh, uh, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. I'm, I keep forgetting. Tiffany Haddish. Yes. Uh, hey, amazing, funny, beautiful. She's her, her. She's up there. She's in. She's in the upper echelon of comedy. But once upon a time, once upon a time, she was living out of her car. Yeah. Once upon a time, she. I mean, and the story goes, Kevin Hart saw her and blessed her with some money. Be like, yo, go get a hotel for the weekend and get cleaned up and get some rest. But she was living out of her car, and he, you know, he did her a favor because that's the life. That's. I mean, the sacrifices we make. Is, is nuts and uh, she doesn't get it and she says well, that's stupid I'm like why you got to say that for you're insulting me because yeah. and you're insulting my friends and colleagues you know what I'm saying it's yeah. like really yeah so uh, it really gets under my skin so it's a yeah, hard I life think that, uh, you know it's, I was having this conversation with Kenny Ortega because um, oh, um uh, last week yeah he oh really he, he was talking to this he's talking to this girl and me and Kenny went on the road and uh, at one time we went somewhere and we had to share a room, you know, but whatever. It was yeah, fine. Yeah. And um, he said that the girl was like, well, that's disrespectful if you have a woman. And he's like, but she's a coworker. And it's a, have, yeah, it's not a thing. Like, she's a sister to me. Like, like yeah, it doesn't it's, matter. Let me tell you how I feel about, like, I guess women in comedy, like my coworkers, you guys yeah. that happen to be females. Yeah. I, 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 I felt like this before, and it, it was when I was in the military. Mm -hmm. I, I was in the infantry, so mm -hmm. it's all men. We're just all grunts, and we're all in the shit, mm -hmm. and we're all in the shit together, yeah. and it's this bonding. Yeah. And that's how I feel with everybody, men, women, and comedy. Yes. Like, all, like, like I, can, I can totally sleep in any room with another comic if it's a female. I don't care. I'll just say, hey, why don't you take a shower first and I'll take a last. Go, you know, because whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, what yeah. Kenny did, Kenny said he snores really loud. So he goes, Jenny, I'm going to let you go up to the room first, settle in and fall asleep. And then I'll just come in and get ready. Yeah, yeah. And then that's like, what he did. So I was already in bed asleep. By the time he got there, I never felt him come in, nothing. And in the morning, whatever, we woke up and we're like, yeah, I showered. I got dressed in the bathroom. And that's it. Then we left. I don't yeah, there's no awkwardness. We're like, we're on a mission. Yeah, we got work to do. Yeah, you're on the road. I think if you're on the, I know when I'm on the road, they're like, oh, you know, what are you doing? You're doing this, you're going. No, it's like when I'm on the road, it, I, I'm, it's so quiet. I'm more focused and I'm happier. Yeah. And all I'm thinking about is that set for that night. Yeah. You know, and getting, uh, getting there on time, being ready. You know, I, I, I have an eating schedule. Like if, especially on the road, cause I'm doing, I, I feature, so I'm doing 30 minutes and yeah. I out differently. I'll sleep differently to prep, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's such a focus. It's such a laser focus when it comes to like nothing else matters. Yeah. I, I, I'll tell a funny story. Um, so once upon a time I used to be an alcoholic, uh, I quit three years ago. And when I checked in, cause I'm a veteran, I went to the rehab at the VA and I was, I had just started this outpatient rehab when I had to go to Kentucky. And they were telling me, no, don't go. You're too fresh. It's not a good idea. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going. You can, I'm just comedy. I'm go no, you're in a club. There's alcohol. You're too fresh. And I'm telling them, no, I'm going. Mm -hmm. So they're really concerned and worried about me. Uh, with the alcohol and I'm like, no, trust me, nothing. I mean, yes, I may be an alcoholic, but comedy supersedes everything, everything, everything supersedes everything. So believe me, uh, alcohol will be the last thing on my mind when I'm on the road focusing and I have five 30 minute sets. Yeah. Trust me. I'm not gonna, I'm not, it's not even going to be on my, and you know what? They were scared. 
They were worried for me, and that it was a beautiful thing, and I appreciate I mean, them. They gave me a stack. And it's justified, and, and they are right that there could have been. I mean, you were above it, but most people wouldn't have been able to handle it, and you know that. Oh, fuck. Sorry, you're coming in broken. Uh, oh, I said that they were right, and that they um, most people wouldn't have been able to handle that. You were above it, but most people, I mean, they were right to, like, they were telling you the right thing. Well, time out. I'm here. I'm still here. Sorry, my wife. The I don't know. I think I have a problem with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, because it's my. Uh, if, you, if, 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 if you can hear me, just do me a favor. Check out and then check back in. Okay. Because it happens. Yeah, it happens. Just, just check out. Yeah, and then recheck back in, and then I'll pick you back up again. So hit the little two happy faces on the bottom. There we go. Hold on. All right. There we go. And five, four, three, two, one. There you go. It happens. Yeah. It happens. I can't wait to get my podcast because this Instagram shit isn't always working. But like I was saying, comedy just so supersedes everything. And I went, did my five shows, didn't even think about comedy. I mean, we don't care. It's like everything is like, so I'll share a bed with three comedians. Yeah. I'll share a bed with a female. I'll share a bed with a gay comedian. I'll share a bed with a guy. I don't care. Because we all there for the same reason. We're all there the for show. the same reason. Nobody's trying to. Nobody. Nobody is fucking no. with you. No one's. No one no. cares. No one cares. No. No. No, no one not cares. It, it, it's no. not. No, we're. You're right. We're working. We're doing what we have to do, and 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 it's fine. Yeah. It's but it was fine. Cool. Have you been yeah, doing Zoom shows? Uh yeah, I did a few. I'm not into them really. I just. I can't grasp them. Some people are, gra 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 are on it. They, found, they have a rhythm, and God bless them. Rock and roll. I'm, I found a little bit of it, but then it's kind of weird. and uh, uh, I don't, It's just I'm a little uh, – my, my biggest thing was uh, – I, uh, like I, I ran into Kenny because I did the Mohegan Sun uh, oh. last week. Right. So he, I bumped into him over there. He went up there with O.C. Caleb. Mm -hmm. Me and O.C. were in the first round, and we did our thing, and we made it to the second round. So, Oh, I did that. I made it to the second round uh, when I auditioned for it. Shit. I don't remember now. So you, oh, so you did the last comics standing with the next? Yeah, I did it a yeah. few years ago. And I made, oh, okay. I, made the first round. I made it past the first round. Okay. Um, and then I didn't go beyond that after the second. Oh. I didn't go beyond that. And then, uh, but I was really, really new in comedy then. So I was pretty happy that I okay. came in. Well, that's a, yeah. 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 I was pretty new. So yeah. the fact that I got yeah. that far, that was fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Cause it's yeah, like I'm excited for the, you. The, the only stage time I'm getting. So, and I got a rooftop this Sunday if it doesn't rain. Mm -hmm. And I don't got much in between, so yeah, I look really forward to those real shows. Yeah, I uh, haven't been on stage in for uh, what was I on? Oh no, I when I I went on the road with Kenny, and he brought me on, and they gave they tossed me ten minutes, so I was happy. It's the first time I've been on stage since March. Wow, it means so much. Like when you're up there, it's like it's nuts. I my the first before the Mohegan Sun, the only thing I was able to get on was an open mic that someone told me about in Queens in a park next to Queens Boulevard, and it, it was awkward, but just to be standing there with a microphone in my hand. I know. And, and my timing was off. The jokes were off. It, it sucked, but just to feel the movement and, like, my body was into it. My, the words weren't all, you know, and then and, and fucking 101 degrees in Queens Boulevard. And yeah. It was, it was something. I, it was, I'll take that over Zoom. Yeah. Not, nothing against my Zoom comedians. It's just, it's not well, no, me. If it, works, if it works, I've done, I think I did one Zoom. I don't even, but I did it very conversationally, though. I just kind of like, it's oh. okay for me to do this. Yes. And then to do my set, because it does feel weird. Because everybody oh, this has to is mute themselves, because then, uh, or because then you get feet, you get the feedback. So you have to mute, so then you can't see if they're clapping or laughing. It's, it's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing because I um when I the first time I did it, I I, I think I just shot out the gate, like mm -hmm. the first minute I was like I felt like I was banging, 
but then I don't feel anything. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, did it hit? Did it not hit? Because we need that. If, if it, you know, the, the rhythm, if, if the joke hit and they laugh, okay, you know where to go. If it doesn't hit, okay, you know, you know, but if you're not feeling anything, it's like, what, you know, what am I doing? And all, all you can do is put it on autopilot and just keep going straight. Yep. You know, I can't add anything. I can't take anything away. My, I don't know if my But you need to be because sometimes the audience may do something. You react to that. And you, like, I That's what I'm saying. There's nothing there. It, I'm empty. It's like, I keep, I said it before. I'll say it again. It's like I'm floating in space. Yeah. Just floating. Dead space. That's all it is. And it's like, ah, yeah. me molesta. It's just yeah, no, of creepy. course, of course it would. It's just, it's a lot. And, um, but, you know, I went down, I go to the pair a lot now because I, you know, they're, um, just to give them business, just because uh, yeah. you gotta, I'll go and have a couple of drinks just to say that they, again, to put money in the thing because we gotta, if we don't save the clubs that we care about, yeah, you know, we're not going to have them. And listen, um, shit's going to get real in October. Shit, this I work. I work part time at a hospital. I work at New York Presbyterian, and okay. um, all the you think there's going to be a spike? Out, huh? You think the, the you think there's going to be a spike? All the doctors are saying that at the hospital, and wow. uh, they think they think there's going to be a spike. It may not affect us because we handled it properly, but um, it's definitely going to affect the rest of the country. And um, I get COVID tested every other week. Okay. Um, because yeah, they, they do the thing. They do the thing all over? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. I put on my reels, too. I put, I put on my reels, and people could really see how it's like. It's this long. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've heard all the stories. I'm like, yeah, all the way back to your brain. Yeah, it definitely tickling the back of your brain. And then, uh, but, you know, I'm a cancer survivor. I stayed in when it was, when it was high, high, high. I yeah. stayed in. And I went back to work in July when, sh when, start, when shit started opening up again. Things got semi-normal that's when i just decided to go back to work because i wasn't going to go when it was at the at the at the height of it there's no way no I have to find my answer to die from this no me no i i my doctor told me to chill yeah. uh, i mean I, I i was i'm an uber driver so naturally when the city shut down we stopped but when i checked in with my doctor because i was thinking maybe september i'll come back and she's like are you getting unemployment i'm like yeah i said she goes are you doing okay with it i'm like i'm doing all right she goes if you don't need you know if you can do all right wait it out because I, I have, I have pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The top four pre-existing conditions is elderly, high blood pressure, asthma, and, um, diabetes. And yeah, I'm pre and I'm pre-diabetic mm -hmm. with a touch of asthma and high blood pressure. Ah, no. only, You're a triple yeah. threat. I'm a triple threat. The only thing I'm not is elderly. Yeah. So yeah, I've already, yeah, I want to get off the list. I already, I already lost 15 pounds. Just work, you know, Good. cause that's I'm not, wonderful. Yeah, How I'm not paying. Huh? How are you doing? Oh, uh, change my diet. Uh, just a lot of vegetables, a lot of soup, a lot of salad, a lot of fruits. Uh, no sugar, no rice, no pasta, no soda, no sweet. I won't say no sweets. I get a little ice cream. Uh, but yeah, and then I go to the track uh, four or five days a week. At least, and I'm up to four miles. <gasps> That's wonderful. So, so yeah, I'm up to four miles, and the the magic number is uh, ten thousand steps, which is about five miles. That's what everyone says: ten thousand steps a day, and you'll be good. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm working my way up. I so yeah, I'm doing running again. Um, I'm trying to learn how to run right out, uh, run outside. You know, because I'm a treadmill runner, and running mm. outside is a little harder. Uh, so I, 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 I'm doing this app. That's like from the couch to 5K, you know, so it, it, and it's walk, run, walk, run. So it eases you into it. Um, mm, that's, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll send it to you. And it's yeah, because I'm walking, or speed walking. But, but I want to get it. It'll help you learn how to run because you're only running. I'll send it to you. Yeah, because I'm trying to get back to running because for one thing, I want to run. And for another thing is I used to be in the Army. I used to know how to run. Yeah. And now... It's like gone. I'm yeah. almost. I'm ashamed. I'm yeah. ashamed. I'm looking at my minutes and the miles, and I'm like, I'm, I want to cry because I used to do five miles. You know, I I I used to do a seven minute mile, 
which wasn't bad. Wow, you know, that's good. Seven minute Yeah, back 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 in the day. Yeah, a hundred pounds ago. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I want to get up to some kind of. You know, I can't be what I was when I was in the army, but I can definitely improve. Well, this app is really good then because what it does is it really eases you in. So you like it, at the first, like I'm really. Today was just day three, so I'm really just started. Okay. And it just, you you walk for five minutes as a warm-up, then it says, okay, we're going to run. You run for one minute, and then it tells you to stop, then you walk for a minute and a half, then you run for a minute, and then it's about 30 minutes total. And as the weeks go on, they start increasing your running, but you you don't feel it because they're increasing the running, but because you're easing into it and you've been walking, walk, run, walk, run, it doesn't yeah. feel that bad. Like I'll on a take treadmill, it. it's, ba it's easier. But on streets, I'm learning to yeah. move or running on the street. It's, yeah. I went and we got have, we have, for shoes and everything. Yeah, we have a big park. And like one lap around the whole park is 1.3 miles. Okay. So I'm up to three laps. That's practically four miles. Yes. And there's also a track that I tried to run to run on, but I didn't. Do, you know, I'm, I'm, I just went back to walking, I figure. No, that's and I'm the also, way to start. Yeah, I'm also heavier, so I figure maybe I might have to lose a little bit more weight. For your knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just yeah. feel like I'm getting – yeah, so my, my, I'm building up my walking, but the running, not yet. Then you so. should – then you then – you, I think you'll appreciate it. And I'm – listen, it's not about speed. I'm running really slow. I'm just like – Right, no. It doesn't right. matter. I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about the speed. I would just like to have a nice little jog, like consistent, you know. This will help you. Because it's really embarrassing when that little 95-year-old uh, Asian woman is like, it's just, yeah, she's, she's, she's like a ninja on ice. Because she just glides right past me, wow. just doing her thing. And I'm like, yo, I feel like shit, you know? And so I, I want to get somewhere. I want to beat the 95-year-old Asian woman running. Oh, yeah. I just want to just jog right past her. That's, That's right. my goal. That's right. Jog right but, past that bitch. <laughs> working on it working on it but yeah send me the app i'd love i'd love I, to i think out. it's a free app and it's it's great and you're gonna feel so accomplished and it's it's short you know so you can do it with incorporate it into your walking but it's it just really is yeah. um it, it, it it's called like from it's like it's supposed to prepare you from couch to to 5k okay so therefore no, totally it really is where also, you in, also something different because i've been i've just been doing laps walking so this will be something oh, yeah. different. So, and you'll enjoy it because it'll, it'll interrupt your music and tell you, and then it tells you, like, you're doing great, or you're, you're halfway uh, there. <laughs> you can turn that off, but I like it. Like, you're halfway there. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Do they have, like, a Latino version? No. Dale. 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 Chicharrones. <laughs> <laughs> something, yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, I, well, I'll take know, anything. You know that um, now I, I want A-L... Uh, a L E X A <laughs> L E A L E X A. What's that? I can't say the name because then she'll respond. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She speaks Spanish now. Oh, really? Watch, watch, Alexa. ¿Qué hora es? Ahora son las seis y cuarenta y tres. Oh, shit. She speaks Spanish. Yeah. Alexis, ¿cómo está el tiempo? What? Uh, Alexis, ¿cómo está el tiempo? What? No, she don't want to talk. Fine. Alexa, necesito un hombre. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis, necesito un hombre. Alexis, me veo gorda? What? Why is she this? Oh, no. I, I, she's losing. She's not plugged in. All right. So she, she lost something. But she's, I, she's losing power. She's losing she's power losing because power. She's, she's flashing yellow. So I don't know what's wrong with her. Let me see if Alexis, can you find me a man? Yeah, she's not. But yeah, you heard her. She's. I have what? her bilingual, so my mom could talk to her. All right. What 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 background are you exactly? Because you you're from Florida, right? Miami. No, no. I I went to high school in Florida, but I grew up okay. here. I grew up in Washington. I'm Dominican from Washington Heights. Okay. Oh, you're local. Yeah, I'm local. 
You're local. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh. I'm Dominican from Washington Heights. I mean, I live in Times Square now, but um, I only went to high school in my I went to high school in Miami in, in one year of, of like community college, and I went away to college in Pittsburgh, and then I moved back to New York after that. Uh, yeah, you went to a theater college, right? A theatrical. I went to- Two, I went to, there was one that was, I went to the University of Pittsburgh, which is just a regular school, Pitt. But before I went to Pitt, I did go to a performing arts college called Point Park College in, you know, okay. in, in Pittsburgh, yeah. And I transferred from there to Pitt. I when, did you get the, when did you get the acting bug? I've been acting since PS28. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've been acting All since right. PS28 uh, in Washington Heights. I was like in the school plays. I would say I was in Glee Club. Okay. I've always been a performer. And then I got my uh, degree in theater, yeah. Uh, yeah, my son, uh, he said he wanted to be an actor since he was a kid. And then he got to an acting program in high school. And now he goes to uh, the theater program at, at a community college. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, he's, he's going in that direction. Uh, I, tr- uh, I, I totally support him. But I also try to talk him out of it because, you know, we're in the game as comedians. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm like, dude, you just, you got to, you know, know what you're yeah, getting into. I, I don't wish this on anybody. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. I, 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 you know, when people tell me, oh, I want to be a comedian. I'm like, no, go to no, college. Be, a, be an astronaut. An astronaut is easier. A teacher, a, a lawyer. Mechanic. Learn. You make so much money being an autobody uh, mechanic. So you don't want to be this. Your family will disown you. You, you. you can't stay in a relationship. People question you. Everything. Yeah, you can't stay in a relationship. People get mad. If you're a man, then your wife thinks you're fucking around. If you're a woman, then then your man thinks all oh, you're fucking around. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel bad because I've had female comedians, especially the married ones, because it's kind of ma- it's male dominated. It is. And it's to male, and to see the the married ones, and they're hanging out till midnight at shows, and again, we don't care. This is our norm. But then the spouses are looking. I'm like, you know, who, who are you talking to? Who's this? I mean, and then social media. Still, I mean, there's still, it doesn't. You, you, you're one of the. I mean, you're an exemplary person in the sense that you don't care. But I, there is. I mean, I've experienced some sexism as a female comic. I mean, I've had. I, I've had. It's funny because this guy's not in comedy anymore, and he sucked. He just, whatever. He sucked, but. Well, like you said, he's not in comedy anymore, so there's your answer. Yeah, there's your answer, right? But he he saw me get up. This is when I was really young, young in comedy, right? And he saw me get up, and he says to me, he goes, fuck, Jenny, fuck. I go, what? I just gotten off stage. I go, what? He goes, damn it. That was such a good set. Now I have to respect you. And I just thought you were a mountain of tits and ass. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, exactly. And then he, <laughs> like you said, he's not in comedy anymore. So no, there you go. He's not in comedy anymore. He's not somebody who respected the craft or the art or anything. I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Either you're funny, you're not, or you're new, you need to improve. But it's yeah. all about what you do on stage. That's it's all it about is. the stage. That's all it the is. Show a lot of times I'm the only woman on a, on a, on a, on a, on a lineup, and I actually prefer that. Let me tell you why. Because I have learned that if I'm on a, on a lineup and there's more than, let's say it's seven comics and two are female, mm-hmm. I will get compared to the female comic. Wow, I, will not I never get heard of that. Compared to the other to the other comics, like like oh, out of the two girls, you were the best. Who says that? They all like audience members. I've, had, I've heard that from audiences, and I, whereas if I'm if I'm with if I'm with just boys, they have to compare me to everybody else. Yeah, I get it. Wow, I never heard that angle. I mean, I have. I, I, I mean, that's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. I like being the only girl on on the on the, on the lineup for that. Not that I'm hating on other women. It's just that the audience will. No, no, no. I get it. It's stupid. It's just yeah, stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's completely stupid. And like, it's I've because, heard of- and it's because, but it's because it is a male dominated. Uh, a yeah. male dominated uh, industry and there aren't enough women on shows because if people were used yeah. to seeing women all the time on stage then it wouldn't be that wouldn't be an all issue right. right no no how many years you got in now um eight so not that eight. 
eight, eight. I've been I've been you know but I've been acting since you know whatever so I started right 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 I started right. out as an actor so even the very first time that I was on stage I looked confident because I know how to be on a stage no no yeah 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 but I didn't I, 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 sitting bricks right. but I would look confident you know because what's I, the what's so did you know what to expect when you switched the comedy? Like when you switched over, were there any? What was the biggest surprise? Like holy shit! How comfortable it felt. Like okay. I didn't think it was gonna be that comfortable. I didn't think that I was gonna be that comfortable on stage telling my stories. You know, I didn't think that it was gonna be. I think that as an actor, I'm always someone else, right? Right. And this allows me to be me a hundred percent. And I think that that's the most rewarding part of it is that I get to be me. And I, you know, now that I'm dating, people ask me like, well, what's your shtick? And I hate people who aren't in comedy don't understand. Oh my God. First. So I what do you stick. And then he goes, well, I said, I have a say. He goes, well, your set's like your shtick. I said, okay, let me just make this a teachable moment. A shtick yeah. is like a gimmick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they talk about like, what's stick? Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, I get that. What are you? Like, are you political? Yeah. Are yeah, you I'm this? Are you that? I just say, um, me, myself, and I. Yeah. Me, my, I just me, my, my family. Political joke. I have one, and it's not really. It's about Melania, but it's about, um, and you know, it, and I always have to watch where I wa say it because some people don't like it. They they boo it, and but I don't care. It's a good joke, and I use. I yeah. Say it all the time. Don't but get I, me started. I, it, I, yeah, I say it all the time. I get fuck, but like I was like, oh, you didn't like that one? Well, fuck you. You know, yeah. that's it. But like, um, you know, uh, but it, it goes over really well sometimes, but it takes people a minute because I go, I start talking about how, um, you know, I live in Times Square now and I've been here when, 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 the, when Giuliani was just starting to clean it up. So I seen a transition. So I go, where did all the hookers go? Mm. I don't know where those bitches went. Right. And I used to know. You're a New Yorker. I, yeah. You're a New Yorker. Remember? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Like at nighttime. Hell yeah. yeah, and in oh, Times Square, and I've, I've been in I've been in Times Square since '98. I remember all, all the the little the, the not the stripper joints, the the no, peep the, shows, the peep shows, yeah, the peeps, remember? Yeah, the peep shows, yeah. Hey, there's, I'm the one, there's one. In there. I went, there was I went one with live girls still. There's huh? one with live girls, not right yeah, now. So, there's a few, but very few. Very They're few, like, but not the girls aren't there right now because of COVID. But um, so. I'm like, where do all the hookers go? I said, you know, they don't all become Cardi B. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I don't go, know. Or First Lady. So, yeah. I don't Ooh. know. I do a smell. I do a smell. That's hot. Okay. I just, all right. I won't go there. That's another, that's another episode. That's we'll go there. Episode. That's a whole other episode. I had a, I have a, I actually had a conversation with my son about, uh, gen about women. And we're just different women from different parts of the world. Uh, and the first lady came up. Uh, that's all I. That's all I'll say. Yeah. But yeah, different women from different how parts of the world. He? How old is he? He's twenty-two. Okay, so he needs to stay away from Eastern European women. Yeah, I was just. I was, who don't we just have going. papers? Who don't have papers? <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, you know, you know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So yeah, he's doing his acting thing, and and hopefully he'll start going out for commercials. I told him take a commercial class, get your feet wet, start doing some stuff. I took a commercial class last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do nothing with it. I got sidetracked with some personal stuff. You said you had cancer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife had it last year. So oh, that was that, that uh thyroid. How is she? Uh, she's good. 100%. Thank you. So yeah, she got through it. It was a, you know, it was a long year. Yeah. Uh two surgeries, recovery, yeah. medicine, fucked up medicine, go back to this medicine. Uh she just had her yearly checkup. She came out all right. Thank so God. last year was a long year, kind of. Yeah, I I, I want to like every comedian. I'm gonna start the year off with a bang. I'm gonna do the comedy. I'm gonna do this commercial class, and and I actually did it, but I wasn't able to. I got you know, I was just I was barely hanging on as a comedian with everything that I didn't have time. So this now now it's COVID. So but I'm looking hopefully by the end of the year start going to auditions and stuff. I hope so. You know, I I think that. Um... And I, I'm glad that you were there with her for that. And, and, you know, it happens. Cancer doesn't happen just to the patient. It happens to the family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. Um, God thank God. Um, God blessed us because I was there and her mother was there. So yeah. we were tag teaming. It takes a, te it, it, it takes a village. It takes yeah. a village. Yeah, we were tag teaming. And her mother, you know, it, she was going to the hospital in Manhattan 
the one on seventy first, seventy something off of Lex. Is it Presbyterian? No. That is pres that that's Cornell per Presbyterian. I'm a Presbyterian uptown in the in the I right. work the, the one in the Heights. The, the right, no, she's campus. off of Lexington and seventy something between Park and Lex or something Not like that. Not small Kettering though. Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. I'm, I'm terrible with that stuff. That's okay. But yeah, like her mom would go to her with the appointments at the hospital and the surgeries. And I was Ubering, so I would pick up and drop them off. So we, like, we all, we, we were tag teaming everything and the kids and dinner and the food and the shopping. And so, yeah, everything, everything's good. She's working. Thank God. She's good. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. It was, I'm, I'm glad. It was rough. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. She's good. Healthy. I'm glad. So, I'm glad. So it's not, now we got COVID to deal with. Well, that's another thing that she's definitely at high risk too because is she still on medication? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for the rest of her life because they took out. That she's high risk too, and she's got to be careful. What does she work in? Actually, she, Amazon. She delivers. Oh, she delivers. Oh, she drives too. Yeah, she drives for Amazon. So, but she's careful. I mean, she 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 has her packs of wipes. Her germ, her so, side, good, she has everything. Good. So, good, and good. she she washes her hands. So she's on top of it. She has good. she's she has a routine. She okay. hasn't uh, you know take her shoes, takes them off in the living room. She does, and then straight to the sink. And That's what you have to do. You have to take your clothes off all at the in the door. Yeah, yeah, she does. She gets she gets she gets naked when she walks in. That's it. So, not That's not it. all bad. Not, not right. all bad. <laughs> so anyway. You know what? Damn, that was fast. I got to wrap this fast. up because, holy shit, I didn't even get to really ask you any cool stuff because about your acting. Because I, I was so I'm into that stuff. I wanted to learn more. Oh, but hey, can, this I can come back on whenever you want me, and we can we can we can. Oh, we can well, this talk this about IG that. this IG is the beginning. I'm I'm. It's going to move into a podcast. Okay, good. So this is all practice, and, and this is. I definitely have advice for your son if he wants it. So. Oh no! Absolutely, uh, he does absolutely, and this all goes to my YouTube channel, Hot Punch Sunday. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, go to Hot Punch Sunday. It'll be there in a couple of days. You'll see all your other little friends and comedy there, and yeah, all I, saw them, the I saw them in your in your in your in your on your profile. Yeah, I sh yeah, I shoot them up. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna repost them, and I'm just you know I'm just you know this whole COVID thing just took everybody in a different direction, and yeah. I'm kind of cool. I'm embracing it. You, you know the technology, you the IG. You can't do anything, but I mean, what else can you do? So I'm embraced. So I'm I'm making it work. Good. I'm making it work. Good. And until the until the shows open up, God willing, I don't know what the hell's going on. I I, I heard they're closing. Then they're they're talking about schools opening up, but then they're not allowing indoor dining, indoor dining or outdoor comedy shows. The kids could go back to school, but no outdoor comedy shows and no indoor dining. So. But, uh, but we got the rooftops. As a matter of fact, I got a rooftop this Sunday. Uh, like I said, I the people I'm working with, I think we're going to make it a, a regular. Oh, good. And if it does, I'll give. I'll definitely give you a shout. Oh, so, good. thank you, thank you. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's in Brooklyn. Okay. Oh, is that Dave Lester's thing? No, not Dave. It's Tiny Cupboard. Okay, I don't know them. Yeah, they've been. They've done shows before, but now they moved it to the roof. And they wanted to team up with me on Sundays. So if this, if we continue to do Sundays, you will be hearing from me. Okay, cool. Cool. I look All forward right. to it. Jenny Saldana, thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. And please say, please give, give your wife a nice survivor kiss from me. I will. Thank you. Igual. We'll keep in touch. Yes, absolutely. Ciao, be good. Hello. All right. The one and only Jenny Saldana, Dominican, Washington Heights. She's local.